David is joining us. He's the author of the book, uh, With Christ in the Voting Booth. And, uh, I, you know, David, you, you can probably talk about this better than I can introduce it. So I'm going to give you the, just have you do so. Um, tell me a little bit about the book and, and just tell me, like, what, what caused you to write it? I was thinking about this earlier today that uh, if you go to the bookstore, some of the beefier section are the uh, religion section and the politics section, and you're standing in both. So looking out on that playing field, uh, what caused you to write this book? Well, I uh, started to write the book with one goal in mind, and when I was done, uh, the book had changed me. Even though I wrote it, I ended up with a different perspective on politics uh, from when I started. My intention early on was to write a book uh, defending Mike Huckabee in possible preparation for uh, a second run at the presidency in, in 2012. Yep. And uh, he decided not to run, and, and so I decided to take the book a little different direction. It ended up being uh, a good thing because what I did was I searched the scriptures and see what the scripture had to say about government, uh, about people's responsibility, and uh, how the fall of man affects government and political decisions. And uh, so it's it's really it's thoroughly more a book that uses earthly illustrations to to show the Bible uh, w what the Bible is teaching and on in these areas. So um, I came out with a different perspective of politics and uh, a different view of government than I thought I would have, and uh, so. Maybe nobody else got anything out of the book, but I did. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 that, that's interesting um, that through the process you came with a different view. How as how as as believers sh should we look at the political process? I, I think you have a lot of folks that are people that are willing to bail on it and say this. Th there's other things of the kingdom going on here, and then th there's other people that are invested in it uh, as 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 something that that frankly sometimes I, I think is a little bit idolatrous. And so I think you have a, a couple spans there. How, what's the appropriate role of, uh, of Christians, and how should we view government in today's age? Well, I fall, actually, I fall closer to the, uh, it's not necessary to become uh, active in politics. The book was ri originally written for uh, people who don't uh, eat, drink, and sleep politics uh, every day. Yeah. It, it was written for the person who only starts paying attention to uh, elections during the presidential years, and sometimes then not till uh, after Labor Day. Right. And so uh, it's written for them to give them a feel for uh, some of the things they should be looking for and, and some of the attitudes that they should be taking into this. Um, I have sections in the book on government too big and government too small, and then a different one called government too important. And I think that's the, f the, f the uh, part where Christians fall uh, too much is they expect too much out of the government, mm -hmm. uh, whether it's conservative or, or, or liberal. Yeah, uh, the conservatives expect if we get a good government in there, suddenly everything will be fine in the country. And I, I, I came away from my study of scripture on this to know that uh, man has fallen, and uh, and even Christians uh, sin, and to have too high expectations of what your government can accomplish uh, for the kingdom or even for uh, restraining evil is, is uh, somewhat limited. 